So if you see my last video, you know that I did some shopping for the gallery wall and I also look for a table, cushions for the um, coffee table slash banquette. Let's see what we got. I picked up quite a bit of stuff and so we can start putting this together. Hey lovely people, welcome back to my channel. As you can see today, we are finally in our kitchen nook. And we're finally going to make over our nook space so that we can finally complete our kitchen makeover series. And if you're new to my channel, I have a whole series on making over my kitchen. Repainted our kitchen cabinets. We have a coffee station. We added new floors. We took down walls and the list goes on. But if you're interested and you haven't seen those videos, just go back to my channel. You'll see that I have a whole series just on home decor and you can check that out. But today we're going to focus on the nook and as you can see, we got our blank wall and we have our coffee table. And I know you're probably thinking coffee table. Yes, coffee table. This was a coffee table from my living room. And again, if you're not aware, I had this coffee table moved from my living room and brought it over to the nook area to make it into a banquette. And what we did was that we painted the coffee table to match our newly painted kitchen cabinet so it can look all uniform and you would never know that it wasn't made for the space. I'm telling you, it fit perfectly. Look at the, I mean like perfect. It was made for this area. And trust me, it's sturdy. When I tell you it's super sturdy. We're going to have our coffee table, now our banquette to transform this space into something more cozy, more hoogly, more comfortable and more relaxing and just extra space to just relax in the house. So today, this is the goal. We're looking to create a gallery wall here and you're probably wondering why a gallery wall? Why not just put one big artwork? Well, here's the problem. This thing right here, we have an electrical box right here. We have a phone cord outlet over here and we have a light switch panel over here. So with all of this going on, one, we do not want to spend money to go do electrical work all over again. It's not that serious. So we're just going to create a gallery wall to cover up these little boxes here and make it seem as if that there's nothing underneath. So guys, I rambled enough and so we can start putting this together. This took some time actually. So I suggest if you're, anytime you're creating gallery wall and they're all not the same sizes and shapes, I definitely recommend that you lay them out on the floor and just kind of play around with it to see which way looks best. You can also do this on paper or you can, you know, do it on computer. But I also like to see it in person to see how everything is gonna come together. And as you know, or may not know, I am a Christian. So don't be shocked that I have, you know, rise up and pray, faith, and, you know, some scripture because that's part of my motivation daily. And not only that, of course, the usual um, positive words of. So if you see me looking down on my phone, it's because I took a picture of it just to make sure everything is how I wanted it. So with this, I don't know if you guys care to see what everything says, but this is, um, there's beauty in simplicity and I truly believe that. So I finally got an idea of how I want it to be set up and moving the colors around. So let's get started. For time purposes, I have already added the nails to the wall because that would make the video so much longer. So I already, did the nailing and everything. So now I'm just gonna place all the artwork on the wall and see how it comes out to. And yeah, so let's go. So whew, guys, we finally got our gallery wall of artwork and words up. We'll see at the end what exactly how it all turns out, but let's not stop here. Let's go ahead and start adding in our finishing touches. And you guys can see what I ended up picking up 
to um, add on my banquette area and you'll be surprised. And here it is. It's a cushion for an outdoor patio. And these patio cushions were on clearance. I don't know if maybe they're discontinuing them because a lot of times when they're discontinued, you'll see a lot of them and there was quite a bit of them. And yeah, they were perfect. And I love the idea that it's an outdoor um, cushion because that means it will be more durable and I don't have to worry about it absorbing water as much, which is perfect for the kitchen area. It's actually longer, but the width is perfect. I mean, it fits perfect on there. So I decided that I was gonna cut it down. And as you can see, I decided to cut it down to the width of the banquette. And I finished cutting it down and I go to put it down to measure it. And I'm like, you know what? After cutting it, it made it less rigid and uh, it loosened up the shape a little bit. And I end up loving how it looks with, um, as it is. So now that I've cut it, it loosened up the tip and now I really don't want to cut it off because it gives it an extra, um, extra leg comfort. I can't explain it. But anyways, let me show you what I'm talking about. So when I put it on, bam, it fit like perfect guys. Perfect. Look at the width. Perfect. They thought of me when they made this, I'm telling you. So now if you look on the side, let me show you. So as you can see, look how it drapes like perfectly, guys. So after seeing it like this, I'm like, hmm, maybe I should keep it like this. So when you're like sitting on the edge, you have extra comfort. <coughs> or you can just cut it off and leave it like this. But then I thought, well, does it really need to be like that? So I really like it like this. I think it looks like... I, I love it like this. So I have decided that when I'm here, I can have that extra comfort here. It won't be uncomfortable on the edge. It's just perfect and it's black. And guess what? You're probably thinking, well, what are you gonna do with this? This works out perfect. I was gonna cut it off, but then I decided not to. I could just cut, tuck that in. But on the ends, it works out perfect because all I have to do, I just tie it around there to keep it secure. And that worked out perfect. So quickly, guys, I wanted to tell you about some exciting, exciting news that I have coming up. And I have this new business venture that I am entering today. I'm going to finally share with you what I've been doing all this time other than kitchen makeovers. And guys, if you don't already know, I've said it many times, you may or may not care, but I'm just saying I believe in Jesus Christ. So with that said, I have decided to actually take my passion for Christ a little bit further and decided to open my own brand apparel, Christian brand apparel to be specific. And not only will I have apparel for both men, women, and children, I also will have home decor, but it's going to be minimalistic. It's going to be clean. It's going to be simple. All ages can wear both young and old. All of this is going to be geared around just inspiring, encouraging women and men and those around them to share their faith with confidence and in style. And if that's something you're interested in, I would love for you to sign up on my new online store website to know when we launch, which is on shegotjoy.com. So that way, when I launch the store, guys, you'll be the first to know when it launches. And of course, there'll be discounts, coupons, for you to check out what I have. And if you're interested, you can shop for any of the things that I have. And guess what, guys? The holidays are coming up. So you can get your Christmas shopping out the way. I would love for you to share this with any of your friends and family. I do understand that it's not everybody's cup of tea and not everybody is into faith, but I am. And it's a part of me. So I'm just sharing that with you because I know you guys know what I believe in, but I don't know who's watching me. So I can't assume that no one would be interested. So 
with that said guys thank you hope you like the nook reveal well, here are the pillows that i got from ikea I really want this area to be extra fluffy, extra pillowy, extra cozy and comfortable. So I decided that I am going to flip my pillows that I had before. And if you guys haven't seen my balcony makeover, you know that I love to recycle, reuse old pillows that I had from either um, comforters I don't use anymore, chairs, couches. Anytime I throw away a chair, a couch, a sofa, anything over the years, I still keep the pillows because you can always use them for something else. Add new covers and have it sold because, guys, I did not have time to sew these pillowcases. So the next best thing to do when you don't have time is you have your mom sew it for you. <laughs> so thanks, mom. Pillows! And these are sturdy pillows because, like I said, it's from an old sofa and I'll show you a picture of what the sofa looked like this pillow is from a sofa that I had over 20 years it was originally my mom's sofa then I moved into my own place and then I revamped it to make it a little bit more country chic for my liking and ended up using um an all white I'm mean, using like this linen fabric and I thought that you know what after I got rid of it I decided that, you know, I'm going to still keep the pillows and the back pillows because I can always use pillows for another project. And yeah, so there we go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put them back here because I wanted to play on the, the neutral, kind of just calm down the white and the black and add the neutral colors. And as you know, throughout my house, those are really the main colors that I got going on. Black, white tan green hints of gold so yeah so here's the last one and at first i thought okay this is just way too bulky but then i just thought it looks way more cozy look at that isn't this cute so i know this is super common these pillows are super common for ikea but i love them they're too cute Sometimes you just have to just not worry about what everybody else have and if you really love it You get it anyways, and it's a really good price and the pillow quality is not bad So yeah now for this one This was like really cheap because it doesn't even have any movement, but three dollars. I figured I'll keep it You won't believe I managed to find this table from Ikea and when I tell you some of the tables were a fail all that tables, all the tables I thought that would work perfectly in the space at Ikea were either too big or they just, something about it was just off. It either took up too much space or there's no wiggle room or it wasn't the color that I wanted. And then as I finally was giving up, I came across this table over here. $14.99. I gotta put these. $14.99, guys. So, and the great thing that I love is that I can screw it up down i can bring it high low and that's what i really wanted but i do want to add like um a little vase here so i don't want it to be too high because that will add some height so look if i want to have my little coffee i can just sit here and have my little coffee in the morning my husband could sit here if he want he could sit next to me or whatever or if we have guests over this area alone can be just a space to have conversation without even entering the rest of the house and that's what I love that the coffee the coffee station and the breakfast nook work as a team to be a relaxing cozy space within your home you can have your drinks and I still have enough room to have like a little snack or a little meal and still have enough cushion to feel cozy let's put something on here to make this feel a little bit more mm. So guys, this is how it turned out. I love it. It's so cute. You know what? I don't like clutter. So I'm going to call this clutter inspiration. 
This is what I personally call isolated clutter. And guys, you cannot tell me this did not fit perfect. Like, I, I, I have no words for that. Look, and then when you sit down, you can just lay your... It just looks so comfortable. And look, you see, it fit perfect. Guys, I really can't believe this fit perfectly. Like, honestly, all I have to do is just bring this forward and you would not know a thing, a thing. Look at these handles. They match perfectly with my kitchen handles. And of course, these are a little bit more minimalistic and simpler, but it still complements it. Now, the color scheme I was going for was the black, the tans, the little bit of gold, and the white. But then this right here just kind of threw off the color scheme that I was going for only because I loved it so much. It was simple. I just kind of really attached to it right away as soon as I saw it. So I don't know, I might change that out and move that somewhere else because it's not flowing with the rest of the color scheme. As you can see, some of this stuff is still a little crooked because I was kind of rushing to put them on there. Right here, the clock, I thought that was so cute to have this vintage old clock just to remind me that time waits for no one. Whatever you wanna get done, get it done. Clock is ticking. And nope, not today, it's for those days. I'm just not feeling up for it. And that sign is there to remind me like, nope, not today, we're gonna get it done. And we're gonna put all the, the negativity behind and we're gonna keep it moving. So that's what a nope, not today is. And then I got this little artwork right here. And it says happiness is homemade. And this is my little marble queen here. As you guys can see, I did get another plant for this area. I got a full plant from Ikea, but I did not, I don't know, it just looked blah, like really boring there. So I decided to put one of my other plants here, my real plant, which probably needed more sunlight anyways. She's growing out of control. This is a marble queen. And yeah, isn't she cute? I got to do more plant videos, but for now, this is what we got going on. And this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite um, artwork where it says, don't be afraid to fail, but be afraid not to try. I'm telling you, if you don't come into this nook area and you don't feel inspired or pushed or motivated to keep moving, keep pushing, I don't know what to tell you. And of course, motivation also starts from within so just having artwork on the wall on the wall is not going to be your sole motivation you have to be self-motivated as well these artwork is just there to just to remind me to stay okay i figured i put i'll leave it like this and make it more like a ladder like an escalator going up to remind me you can only go up from here i know i'm being like super technical but you know what if you don't make things positive in your life no one else will so if you're not using things around you to turn it around for your good i don't know what to tell you nothing else will do it for you no one else will do it for you it has been a long series and if you haven't seen it yet you should go definitely check it out tell me what you think about the nook makeover would you have done the same thing would you have done something differently and also guys guess what there's more projects it doesn't stop here we finally got the kitchen out the way but we got a room makeover to do guys room makeover so if you want to do a room makeover and more diys definitely subscribe to my channel i do want to start doing some holiday stuff i would love to kind of get some fall decor going on here in the kitchen just to feel like i'm in the fall season because it doesn't feel like it yet especially not in florida but anyways guys i'm excited that i finally got this done and the kitchen's finally done i would love to do a full kitchen tour so stay tuned for that so that way we can see everything all in one video and not just broken down that is all i had to say i just wanted to share that with you if you love to support this um, channel or you would love to support what I got going on definitely go check out my website like comment share subscribe but anyways see you guys in the next video